This is our countdown of the top 10 upcoming PS4 action adventure games. There's so many great games to cover, so let's get right into this with number 10. Number 10, Watch Dogs 2. Okay, so maybe you weren't the biggest fan of Watch Dogs, it had its issues, but it was still an okay game. And it had a great premise, and the game was able to set up a foundation that future entries could build upon. This sequel, Watch Dogs 2, takes place in San Francisco, and you play as Marcus Holloway, a man that was wrongfully framed for a crime he did not commit by CTOS. Because of this, and understanding that CTOS might be bad for the city, he works with DeadSec, a hacking group, to bring the city's CTOS system down. The gameplay we've seen thus far has looked great, and considering the release is just a few short months away, I I doubt there's gonna be any major visual downgrade, so don't worry about that. Hopefully Watch Dogs 2 can do what Assassin's Creed 2 did in improving leaps and bounds over its predecessor and making it a more complete experience. We'll find out on November 15th. Number 9, Gravity Rush 2. The first Gravity Rush game was originally released on the PlayStation Vita. That was ported to the PS4 with better visuals, all of the DLC. That's a great package, so if you haven't checked that out, definitely do so. Gravity Rush 2 is the sequel, and this time it's being built ground up for the PlayStation 4. The gameplay at its core seems very similar, which is good because Gravity Rush's core mechanics were so unique, just a little rough around the edges. Gravity Rush 2 will also feature a much bigger world, around 2.5 times the size of the first. The game is estimated to take about 25 to 40 hours to complete. Gravity Rush 2 releases December 2nd. Number 8, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Finally, after a year, Rise of the Tomb Raider is coming to PS4. It's been a long time since the game's original release, but don't forget about Rise of the Tomb Raider. It's an excellent game, and if you were a fan of the first Tomb Raider game, Rise of the Tomb Raider just builds upon that. It's got a better story, more varied gameplay, better visuals, better writing. It's just overall in every area a better game. PS4 players will also get the 20 year celebration edition that comes with the new Blood Tie single player story, which is fully compatible with PSV. VR. Better late than never, Rise of the Tomb Raider comes to PS4 on October 11th. Number 7, Dishonored 2. Dishonored was a game that some people were looking forward to, but at the same time, I don't think gamers were expecting it to be as good as it was. It was a fantastic action-adventure stealth game, and now after 4 years, we're finally getting the sequel, Dishonored 2. Dishonored 2 will feature two playable characters, Emily Caldwin, who was just a child in the first game. Depending on who you play as, the perspective will obviously shift. Dishonored 2 will once again put the power in the player's hand, and the upgrading system has evolved into a skill tree with multiple paths and more upgrades. Dishonored 2 can be played in so many ways. You can even go through the game without killing a single enemy. The game releases on November 11th. Now we're going to show you Shadow Walk, another key power for Emily. Number 6, The Last Guardian. The Last Guardian has been in development for a long time now. It was originally announced back at E3 of 2009, and for 6 years it went MIA until E3 of 2015, where it was re-revealed as a PS4 title. And finally this year, it'll be coming to gamers' hands. Last Guardian is the latest game from Team Eco, the studio that brought you Shadow of the Colossus and Eco, two of the best PS2 games of all time. The story of Last Guardian follows a young boy and a griffin-cat hybrid, and expect a very emotional story given the Developers. Don't be too surprised if there's a sad ending for either the young boy or the griffin cat hybrid. It's hard to predict how games that have been in development this long will turn out, but even if it's half as good as Team Eco's previous games, it'll be pretty good. It finally comes October 28th. Number 5, Days Gone. For a long time, PlayStation gamers were wondering what Sony Ben's new PlayStation 4 game would be. For those of you that don't know, Sony Ben was behind Siphon Filter and Uncharted Golden Abyss, so their track record is pretty good. Their newest game is Days Gone, an open world survival horror game. Okay, so maybe it's not the most original premise in the world, considering there are games like Dead Rising and Dying Light, but Days Gone does seem a bit different. By the trailer, it does seem the game has a bit more emphasis on its story and writing, and the gameplay itself looks absolutely chaotic. The open world will allow many ways of play, you can take the silent approach to uh, completing objectives or go guns blazing. A day and night cycle will also be in the game which is important because the zombies, or rather freakers, are weak and slow during daytime but fast and aggressive during nighttime. Days Gone still does not have an exact release date, we'll probably see it in 2017. Number 4, Mafia 3. 
It's surprising how much gamers are hyped for Mafia 3. Don't get me wrong, Mafia games have been consistently very good, and Mafia 2 was an awesome game, but it never seemed like the series was a standout, at least commercially. Mafia 3 does seem to be one of the most anticipated games of the year. Why is that? Maybe it's because Mafia 3 will take place in an open-world environment this time around, unlike Mafia 2, which was very linear. Gamers love open-world games, so it seems as if for Mafia 3, at least from a marketing perspective, that was a step in the right direction. The gameplay we've seen thus far does make it seem a little more action-heavy, but hopefully Mafia 3 will retain the grittiness that made Mafia 2 so good. Mafia 3 releases October 7th. Number 3, No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky has been one of the most anticipated games ever since this generation started back in 2013. I've spoken at length about this game, but for those that are unaware, No Man's Sky is an open universe game. Taking the typical open world formula and amplifying it by including several procedurally generated planets and allowing you to explore all of them. And when I say several, we're talking in the 18 quintillion ballpark. Now obviously, no one is going to be able to explore every single planet, we just hope that they're varied enough to keep the player engaged. The way for No Man's Sky is almost over, it releases on August 9th. Number 2, Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn is the latest game from Guerrilla Games, the guys that are most famous for the Killzone game. Unlike Killzone, which is a first-person shooter, Horizon Zero Dawn is a post-apocalyptic open-world game featuring mech-like dinosaurs. Yeah, at the very least, you've gotta give them credit for creativity. In the game, you play as Alloy, a hunter who is trying to stand up to these machines. The gameplay in Horizon looks very unique. You have to find ways to take down these mechs, some of which are small around Alloy's size, but some are massive, towering over you. You'll also be able to take weapons from the the mechs and use it against other enemies. Horizon Zero Dawn is one of the PS4's most captivating upcoming exclusives. It releases on February 28th. Number 1, God of War. God of War is finally back, now with a new coat of paint. God of War has been one of the PlayStation's marquee franchises for the last decade plus. Ever since the first game, the series has been a fixture to the console's library, although the latest game, God of War Ascension, wasn't anything great. Now with the new game just titled God of War, is to the naked eye a reboot of the franchise, but that's not the case. God of War does take place after God of War 3 and takes place in the world of Norse mythology as opposed to Greek mythology. It's a facelift that the series has been dying for. It looks different, and now with Kratos, being older and having a son to care for, expect the tone and themes of the game to be much different. God of War still doesn't have a release date, hopefully it comes 2017, but I wouldn't be too surprised if it's pushed to 2018. So that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 upcoming PS4 action adventure games. What do you think? Which games are you the most excited for? Did we forget a game? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.